Hello and welcome to the PowerPoint 2013 preview that was released by Microsoft. I promised I would do a video of this, so I'm going to. Now, once again, just like the Word, we get a publisher-like interface now. This is a standard thing throughout the Office programs. So you can pick the uh, design templates to start off with. Oh, I quite like this facet one here, but I also like the look of this slice, which I haven't actually seen yet. So I'm just going to click on that. And it will come up, you click on it, it gives you a little preview of the theme. And you double click it and also it will take you to the main theme. There we are. That looks rather uh, nice. I think if we else we go to here, we could probably do different... Yeah, you can do different colour schemes there. Um, so, let's see what the other page looks like as well. New slide. Hmm, okay. So, I guess they're all kind of similar then. Okay. This is kind of a, a nice little theme here. Once again, you know, they've got a whole load of new themes. You know, and you can, again, you can just browse sort of extra things if you wanted to. Um, they've got um, slide size now, so you can do the standard or the widescreen, which is useful now. So again, it's just like the old one. They've obviously just changed the look of it, appearance, etc. You know, they've got the uh, the recent items all from the SkyDrive. Now, this is actually a little presentation I did on my laptop that's actually synced over because I saved it. My SkyDrive is synced between computers, which is really, really helpful. And also as well, it will boot up the, if you have it installed, it will boot up the uh, SkyDrive program on your computer and it will sync it onto your computer as well for offline use. Um, then it will just sync it back afterwards. So down here we, we've got the usual, um, like you can select what kind of view you want. You've got your notes and comments. Again, you've got your little slider. So there's a fit slider to the current window button. Again, up here we've got the full screen, standard controls. We've yet again got the... Uh, the sync or the account uh, management uh, tab there. Uh, this developer tab is something I had enabled. This is just allow me to use Visual Basic inside a PowerPoint. This is a multi mouse which add and I installed. It essentially just allows you to use multiple mice within one PowerPoint. Um, so useful if you were doing like yes or no questionnaires, things like that. Um, so yeah, you've just it's basically just the same as 2010, just a different look with more themes, um, a bit more functionality, like I said, with the SkyDrive. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly new in this. Um, there's an export option. Uh, oh, this is kind of cool. You can change the file format, create handouts. You can put it onto a CD, which is kind of cool. You can create a PDF from it uh, and create a video. Ooh. This video can be burnt here, uploaded to the web, all that. I think what it might do, computer HD displays, it probably might... Um, oh yeah, what it does, it probably it exports each slide as an image and then just puts that into a, um, a video and also you can select how long each slide's going on for. So that's um, basically just have a little look at the uh, PowerPoint 2013 preview. Um, one more thing as well, if you've got dual screens, I just launched a PowerPoint. You know, so you can't actually see it, but on the other screen, it's showing the PowerPoint. Here is more of a. Um, here, if I can just try and show you this, uh, let me just get it into the uh, recording window for you. Bear with me one sec. This is a new slide kind of presenter view. You've got the time up. You can see what the next slide's going to be, and you've got you can uh, see all the notes on the slide. Uh, now this is a kind of a useful feature because what you can do is you can um, you can again you can still draw on the PowerPoint like in good time but this uh, you can see all slides so you click on that and let you see all slides this button here lets you black it out so say if you will just quickly do a black screen or something you can, you can just quickly push that button without having to insert a black screen in the PowerPoint you've got some more options here which is just the little menu we had before and I just accidentally launched the help menu Resume slideshow. Um, how do I? Can I end show? End show. Go back to there, and this is going to be all stupid again. Bear in mind. Bear with me one sec. Okay. So yeah, and this button here, which is really cool, I like this feature, it allows you to zoom in on the PowerPoint in real time, which is really, really helpful. And it does do this on the other screen as well in uh, real time. Obviously, you can't see that because this is only recording one screen. Um, but yeah, so that's basically a look at the new uh, PowerPoint. Uh, 
so let me know different thoughts on it um, any questions to questions at techythomas.net my blog techythomas.net um, all other social links are in the description below as well as the download link to where you can get the new office preview um, so thank you for watching this video and until the next video geek out